Hello, Simmers! Gigantic disclaimer before we start. This video is not for the faint of heart. It's all about psychological horror and torment. So, if you're weak and a failure, go ahead and click away and go watch Bluey or something. But if you're tough as nails, and if you're brave, if you're a lion, an alpha male, then let's go. I'm gonna tell you five ways to psychologically torture your Sims in The Sims 1. Now, uh, some of you may already have some things that you like to do normally to torture your Sims, and I'd love to see what, what it is that you can do. So please put a comment below letting me know what you normally do to torture your Sims. Now, maybe you don't play the game that way. Well, that's fine. You're just a nerd. No, I'm just kidding. But let's get into it. Five ways to psychologically torture your Sims. Here we go. Number one, you can turn off your Sims free will and they will be frozen in place forever. So I don't know if you knew this, but check this out. You can go into the settings menu and you can turn off your Sims free will. That means that uh, they won't do anything unless you tell them what to do. So they're gonna stand still. Except for this guy who's taking a shower, apparently. But look, the rest of them, standing completely still. They're not doing anything uh, until I give them an action. And I'm sure you could probably guess, but uh, these Sims are going to literally suffer. They can't eat. They can't uh, go to the bathroom. Nothing. They just have to stand still. And if I don't give them something to do, well, they're going to be psychologically tortured. Uh, take this woman, for example. Uh, I think she's going to get the worst end of it because she's in this room with the TV as it's on. Now, uh, she's going to go to sleep in a minute, but watch this. She will literally not be able to sleep. Can you imagine the type of torture and, and, and just horrific experience that would be if you're trying so hard to go to sleep? Your energy is at literally zero. You can't go to sleep because every few minutes you just wake up because the TV's on. I mean, that would be so horrible. What a terrible experience, and honestly, it's pretty psychologically uh, torturing. All right, watch, here she goes, falling asleep. Energy is at literally zero, and within seconds, she's back up. That TV noise is just too loud. Now, I did let the game fast forward. It, it went on for a long time. I, I started to feel bad for this lady because it just was a continuous loop, and. Honestly, I could have let this run for longer and she would have probably passed away due to starvation. Uh, but I can't imagine a worse type of torture, honestly. Number two, placing things that your sim needs just out of reach. Now, this one, I feel like I'm just trolling my sims here, but uh, I'm going to kind of walk you through what this looks like. I'm going to first uh, create a family or pick, you know, a family I've already had. Let's do this guy, my video guy. Let's move myself into a house. We just need a little bitty one like this. All right, this is perfect. So what I'm gonna do is uh, put all of the essentials into this house. So what does my Sim need to survive? Well, they need to eat, they need to pee, and they need to uh, be able to take a shower. That's basically like all they need. But these three crucial needs won't be met if there is something in the way. So for the shower and the toilet, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna turn them so that they face each other, uh, and your sim will not be able to get into either one of them. But they'll be right there. Like they have to pee. It's right there. They could they could just go if they could just sit, but they can't. And it's funny. And this is one of the things that I love to do, just to torture my sims completely. Is to they'll go up to it, and their bladder is full, but they just can't go. Now for the fridge, I'm gonna put the toy chest right in the way. So no matter how hungry my Sim is, they'll be right there within inches of the fridge. But there is a toy chest in the way. They can't open it. They can't eat. They can't. But they can see it. They just can't get to it. And that, to me, is honestly really, really, really funny. I can't imagine the type of torture that it must be for uh, you to be able to see something that you need so badly, but you just can't get to it. If you ask me, I think this is pretty psychologically uh, torturing. And, uh, you know, your sim has to pee somewhere, so they're just going to pee on the floor. And then they're going to sleep in it. And they're going to get up, and they're going to pee a second time in the same puddle. <laughs> and they're going to basically just go back and forth like this, trying so desperately uh, to get to the things that they need that will keep them alive, but yet so far away. Number three, getting off the grid. 
Now, what I actually mean is cutting your sim off from the outside world entirely. Uh, so I'm not sure if you knew this, uh, but you can completely enclose your sim into a house, uh, but if you give them all the stuff that they need to survive, they'll be just fine. Sort of. There's a couple things they won't be able to do. They won't be able to take the trash out, and you'll see this in a minute. They also won't be able to socialize. Now, you know that if Sims can't socialize, it affects other parts of their, their mood, right? They have trouble sleeping. They have trouble getting a promotion. Uh, there's other things that are affected by this, and, and uh, we're going to see the type of torture uh, that secluding your Sim will bring. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just giving them all that they need. Kitchen stuff, bathroom stuff, I guess a TV, because I'm nice. All their needs can be met except for social. And let's see what happens. Uh, now I had to fast forward for like several days, uh, but you'll see here that one, trash is piling up and it's getting more gross by the second. Um, and secondly, you'll see that the social skill, the social need rather, is going down, 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 down and they're gonna be lonely before too long. I mean, if you, if you think about it, I don't even know if there's windows in this house. So imagine being completely closed off to the outside world, zero communication, no contact with anybody else. Think about how like, depressing that would be, and it actually is, it's, it's kind of sad, honestly. But he, you need that social interaction, right? I mean, as human beings, we, we really all do need that. But I cannot imagine this type of solitary confinement really I mean it you got all the stuff yeah you got a piano and TV and whatever but it's still gonna be miserable because like emotionally you're gonna be lacking so much and the longer I played the sim the more honestly kind of guilty I felt about depriving him from social interactions I mean it really is pretty torturing this next one is one of my favorite ways to absolutely torture sims but real quick before we do that have you gone to my patreon yet the link will be in the description, but I have a Patreon, and uh, a couple things. Membership is completely free. You don't have to pay. Uh, there will be behind-the-scenes content posted and extra videos. I already uploaded my first Patreon-specific video uh, to my Patreon, and there's all kinds of extra goodies that you get. Um, I actually have a couple other YouTube channels that I run, and I post stuff from there and kind of share more about my life and what I'm doing and the projects I'm working on. So... Click that link and check it out and see what's right for you. Okay, number four. I'm sure we've all done this one. It's very, very common and it's very, very hilarious. Putting your Sims in a pool and taking away the ladders. <laughs> just like, I just laugh as I even say that out loud. This is so funny. I can't believe you can do this in this game. The developers had to know what was going to happen, right? Now for this one, I need a minimum of eight Sims in order to, to make this really great. Uh, and I'm gonna get my family here that's all identical, <laughs> my eight Sims family that it's just the same person. And let's have everybody go over to the pool. Now, as you can imagine, what's gonna happen, you think? Well, as I said, we're going to put them all in the pool and they ain't gonna get out. So, and again, try to think about this realistically. If you were in a pool and you had no way to get out, you would have to like tread water or swim around or whatever. Uh, and eventually you're going to get so tired and so exhausted that you will not be able to stay alive anymore. Um, and that's exactly what I'm doing here with these Sims. I kind of had trouble getting all eight of them to stay in at the same time, but I got like, you know, six of them or whatever. So th I thought that was good enough. And I'm going to time lapse here. You'll see uh, they're just swimming around and uh, swimming around and swimming around. And the most important part of this, once they all get in, remove the ladders. That way the Sims literally have no way to get out of this pool and they will swim and swim and swim for eternity or until they fall asleep and die. And you'll see, I mean, their energy is just getting so low, so low, so low. Of course, they're all hungry, you know, and their, their comfort's going to get low. That's all not as important, though, as this energy uh, bar. As this gets lower and lower, that honestly is, is when their life is going to end. Now, in order to torture your Sims like this, you don't have to unalive them completely. Uh, you could pull them out at the last minute um, and get yourself some really good torture in here. Um, but uh, you could just you could just let them perish because that's also awesome. All right, this guy's real close. Look at his look at his bar. It's literally at zero. Oh, 
Oh, he's gone. Oh, man. Rest in peace, buddy. Honestly, why can't you just climb out of the side? Just just put your arms on the on the tile and lift yourself up. I mean, come on. It's it's okay. And this last one potentially might be controversial, as I said earlier. Uh, but here it is. Number five, adopting all the pets. All right, so if you uh, have been watching me for any period of time, you know how much I hate pets in The Sims. I even made a whole video about it. Um, I'll put the link up in the top corner. It's been a couple years since I filmed this, but you can go watch it and you can learn about how terrible pets are. Um, or you can watch this part here. So I'm gonna, gonna, I'm just gonna build a very small house um, for my sim and we'll put some like pet beds or whatever. And let's go uh, downtown and let's buy some pets. Uh, I bought seven pets. I adopted seven pets, all right? Like four cats and three dogs or whatever. So my family of eight um, is going to come back home and uh, we're going to all go into the house together. This is unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. And what drives me crazy, I said this before, is that the pets become part of your family and then all of a sudden you have to take care of their needs but you can't really hardly do anything with them it's so hard it's frustrating and having to live with seven animals has to be the most torturing thing i can imagine honestly like i'd rather just be in a pool with no <laughs> ladders i mean look they're peeing everywhere they're they're b bothering me it's just absolutely aggravating positively infuriating oh and i also forgot about urine these pets are going to urinate all over this house. Uh, and that's got to be so stinky. <laughs> and like, you, you can't even do anything without being bothered by these pets. They come up to you and they beg and they make you play with them. And it's, it's honestly, it's all terrible, okay? I stand by this decision uh, about this, <laughs> this being in this video. I mean, it, this really, really is the worst part about this game. Uh, and, and living with a bunch of animals, I can't imagine a, a more frustrating, torturing thing. Um, and then click over and watch this video next. It's going to make you laugh. It's going to make you happy. It's going to make you smile. All those things. So click and watch that video next. And I love you.